if there's one thing we're sure of when it comes to Polaris, it's that they're very much in tune with what their dealers and therefore their customers really want. Polaris riders never have to wait more than one season for a vehicle or version of a vehicle they're demanding. And it's this quick response to buyer demands that keeps Polaris on the cutting edge of snowmobile product design. For 2018, Polaris has introduced a brand new model and a couple of variations of current models, variations you've been asking for. The XCR Switchback is a model that simply makes sense, and there's not much to be said here that hasn't already been said. Simply put, it's an XCR with a longer track, and it's 100% awesome. Is it better than the short XCR? No. It's just different. It still utilizes all the shorter XCR's race-ready upgrades over the regular axis, but sits on a 137 by 1.352 Cobra track. The longer track helps to bridge bumps and provides an increase in traction, but doesn't seem to affect handling at all. In other words, it's a win-win with no downsides. The real big news from Polaris is an all-new model called the Titan. Polaris is suggesting the Titan is a form of crossover sled, but not in the traditional sense. Instead of crossing over between on and off trail, the Titan has been designed to cross over between work and play, and do a great job at both. The base of the platform is the 800 clean fire engine. More power obviously equals more fun and more capability. A narrow front end still rides and handles great, and a gigantic articulated 155 inch by 20 inch wide track provides more traction than any normal person is ever going to need. The real beauty of this sled is its ergonomics though. Sitting on a Titan feels a lot like sitting on an Assault. A tall riser with a mountain bar is very mountainish, but the comfortable wide seat is very trailish. That big skid frame rides surprisingly well, and the biggest surprise of all is how well this very large snowmobile handles, all while being capable of towing up to 1,200 pounds thanks to its high, low, neutral reverse transmission, and hauling huge cargo thanks to its trick lock and ride cargo platform. There are three Titan models to choose from, all powered by the 800 clean fire mill and all utilizing the same suspension setups front and rear. This probably isn't gonna be an assault buyer's next purchase, but for anyone who wants to both work and play and doesn't want to sacrifice for either, the Titan might just be the best option this industry has seen so far. For 2018, Arctic Cat is finally unveiling something we've been waiting for for three full years. But then they also hit us with a big, or in this case, little surprise, we just didn't see coming. The new SeaTech 2 800 engine is the most important news to come out of Articat since the SeaTech 2 600 was released. There have been so many times over the past few seasons that Articat sleds have finished poorly in shootouts or received less than glowing reviews simply because the old 800 motor was dirty and had an annoyingly high RPM bias power band. The 800 DSi will have comparable peak power with the 800 Suzuki, but the big difference again is gonna be in the, the low to mid throttle operation. We have a large uh, torque increase down low for throttle response, uh, improved acceleration. Well, the development process uh, began way back, even in, in 07, 08, with the uh, original concepts in Articat engineering on different sized engines to do uh, uh, clean technology. Over that time, it evolved. Uh, we were able to release the 600 DSi uh, in 14, but while that engine was being developed, uh, we were also concurrently working on the 800 DSi. I think every Arctic Cat owner on the planet is thinking exactly the same thing we are. Finally. And fortunately, this engine is every bit as good as we hoped it would be. Bottom end and mid-range power like this is going to make riding crossover and mountain sleds so much easier. And it's going to make riding pretty much any 800cc trail sled way more pleasant over long periods of time. We did know the 800 SeaTech 2 was coming, so while it's definitely great and the most important thing Arctic showed us for 2018, the most surprising new product was something we never saw coming. It is the ZR200. Cool idea? Yup. Talk about giving the snowmobile industry something we've been asking for for over 15 years. But what is the ZR200 all about? Really the target audience for this is kids coming off the 120 with more performance, more speed, more capability, and really can help teach them how to ride snowmobile before they're ready to move on to that full-size snowmobile. 
As a guy with two little girls, both currently riding 120s, I can't describe how happy I am to know that there's something for them to move into when they grow out of their little sleds. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more content from Snowtracks TV, click the like button and subscribe to the Snowtracks TV YouTube channel.